Hello YouTube, iPhone Rebel here with another exciting video. In this video, I'll be going over the magic lantern hack on the Canon SL1. Just letting you guys know that there is a hack available and you guys can use it to unlock special features. In this video, I'll be going over the top 10 features that I think are very important on why you would even want to hack your Canon SL1. So, let's get outside and get through the top 10 features that I think are in the magic lantern SL1. Okay, so we're outside, and I'm gonna start off with point one, which is advanced bracketing, AKA advanced HDR features. So the first thing we're gonna wanna do is click the delete button, the trash can. That opens up the magic lantern. We're gonna go over to the camera button, and we're going to click on advanced brackets on. Click the AV button. This opens it up into better bracketing so we have we could do three frames four frames five all the way up to 11 frames or auto detect we're gonna try six frames right now as you can see captured the images different exposures now I can go in post and I can adjust each exposure combine them into one HDR image the Magic Lantern allows us to increase the bitrate of our recording so that you can get higher bit rates than Canon allows you. In my tests, I was able to get up to 75 megabits per second. That is three times larger than the normal bit rate of about 17, 24. It, it varies depending on the lighting and camera movement. The next feature is the digit peaking. So we're gonna open up again the trash can. We're gonna slide over to this looks like a camera and a menu. Click on that. We're gonna turn on, but you notice it goes like this, and I can actually focus like normal professional cameras, allow you to do this peaking option. That is a great feature for videos when you're trying to wanna get perfect images. The fourth thing that I like about Magic Lantern that is really important for movie makers is this option of more frames per second than Canon allows you. Click the trash can. This has to be in video mode. Make sure that you're in video mode. So not in on, but the video mode. This is for the SL1. Has to be in video mode. We're gonna go over till we have the video mode at the top. It says that's the video camera. I'm gonna go down to FPS override. Turn that on and then click the AV button. This is the desired frame rate. We can bring it down and then we can go up. We're, we're able to go up to about 70, but I have not been able to get that on this hack at the moment or as little as about 1.2 frames a second. So if I did that, you know, that would be super bright of an image. So, especially for right now. And it even tells me right here what it's actually gonna be. So it's gonna record just a little bit over one, one half a frame per second. This is great for time-lapsing and for sunsets and for nightscapes, all kinds of stuff that you'll be able to use. And uh, you can play around with that and there's more information in the description below. Probably one of my favorite features of the Magic Lantern hack on the SL1 is its shutter options. Instead of having the one over 50 shutter speed that normal cameras have to do for video modes, the hack allows you to get one over 48. This is a true 180 degree shutter speed, which is really good for capturing true motion, especially if you're recording at 24 frames a second. I mean, I don't know why Canon doesn't already allow you to do this, but the Magic Lantern hack allows you to increase or decrease the shutter speed variably. So make sure it's in video mode. We're gonna go over to the exposure setting. Shutter speed, look at that. We can adjust the shutter speed. To make sure that the menu, the actual camera, is going to capture at 24 frames a second, we'll go here and bring it down as close as we can to 48. Look at that, 1 over 48. And you can't actually get 1 over 48 right away. What you'll have to do is go over to the video settings and go down to fine tuning. Shutter speed fine tuning. we we'll click right here and it's going to adjust at the bottom. It tells you at the very, very bottom what we're doing. So as you notice, it's 52, and then 48, almost exactly 48. It's 48.001. Another very important feature of the Magic Lantern hack is the ability to get ISOs that Canon does not allow you to get, such as 140. So as you can see, I've got 140 ISO. 
How you can change this is click the trash can. We'll go up to ISO, which is the second option under all the settings. Click the AV button. And as you can see right here, we have all these options. If you look at the bottom, it says, this is the ISO button right there. And you can see I was set originally at 400, but as I go down decimals of EV, I can start to see the ISO changes. So that's how you can do it. Let you all know that I'm still running the EOS Rebel SL1 hack of Magic Lantern. A super awesome feature of the Magic Lantern hack is that you're able to use color temperature in a variable way. You can go as low as possible. You can get as high as possible. You can get exact color temperatures, especially if you know exactly what a specific light is emitting, the color temperature, you can adjust the white balance to the, that exact point. Go up to white balance, and we're gonna just play around with the white balance. I'm just gonna click right, 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 right. And it's just gonna keep going crazy. And it says, of course, that you can only apply this this high of crazy amount of Kelvin in this high. So as you can see, you can you can change that white balance a lot easier down to the 100 instead of having presets. Presets are nice, but you can't you can't get as crazy awesome as this. I mean, you really want this feature. And two more features are spot meter and the vector scope. These are these really are go together. One tells you the intensity of the light and one tells you the intensity of color. The two different variables that are very important to know. So, how to get your vector scope? Going to go over Go over where the histogram option, go down to the bottom where it says vector scope, turn it on. And now you will get this weird little circle pie chart thingy. And as you get up and more and more and more, you start to see, look at that, there's a lot of blue and purple and teal and cyan and stuff like that. But if you know how to use it, this is a great feature. The next part is the spot meter, which is right there in the middle, or depending on wherever I move it. It tells me that it is at 72% exposure. So 100% is pure white and 0% is black. We just go up a little bit to the spot meter. This is the same setting under histogram setting thingy. So I could make it um, the center or I can make it wherever I choose to focus. And I can choose if I want percent, a decimal, uh, RGB, HTML formats, or raw, EV, which is a really nice feature if you're using raw and you want to know, oh, look, it's really exposed, or it's a little bit darker. And it just tells you a lot of important information for exposing your image correctly. I saved the best feature for last, and that is raw video. Yes, it is possible to get raw video, uncompressed or very minimally compressed raw video on the, on the Magic Lantern hack of the Canon SL1. You can check out my other videos here, here, and one right here. <laughs> There's a bunch of videos I've been making about this raw hack, and it's very exciting to experiment with this. And it's very simple. So what you're gonna wanna do is go down, you're in the video setting, go down to raw video, turn that on, click the AV. Uh, in my testings, it is not possible to get any other resolution higher than 1280p. Uh, the aspect ratio, you can do it whatever you want. They're really, they're really nice features. But probably the best feature you're all able to do, or the best combination of settings, is the 235 at 1280p. And you see it crops it in, and it's raw video. So then you can just start recording. And you'll get about eight seconds. You know, it's, sadly it's not that much. It's not a lot of time to record. But in my tests, it's actually been very, very useful because most shots are like two, two to five seconds in a, in a short video that I've been doing out here in this, the beautiful outdoors. So just make sure that you experiment with what setting is good for you. But right now, the raw feature on the Magic Lantern is not very usable for filmmakers. So it's a really good feature and you can do a lot of cool things and I'll show you them. It's just you can't record longer than 8, 10 seconds depending on the settings and combinations. Especially if you want HD. You can get probably a couple minutes at lower than HD, but you want HD. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave a comment below telling me what you liked about this video. And give it a thumbs up. If you didn't like this video, please mention in the comment 
why you didn't like this video so that I can help better this channel to exactly what you guys are looking for. So until next time, see you later.